lesson we're going to be learning a uh, long cool woman in a black dress by the hollies um actually not terribly hard tune there's a couple parts that are uh, difficult but it's especially the intro and uh, there's a little breakdown section where we got to use some hybrid picking um but other than that it's uh it's a lot of just kind of a blue shuffle type thing let me tune up real quick so the intro uses a lot of arpeggiated um, chords, but they're not terribly hard to finger the chords. It's just the way that the uh, picking pattern is. Okay, so um, it starts with that. I played it for you in the intro of the lesson. <laughs> does that thing twice okay so let's just break it down it's all tabbed out there for you to reference um, starts with an open E and then a hammer on from the open A to the second fret and then open D just like that and then we go up here you can use really any finger you're comfortable with that you can have the best arc on so that it's not muting that G string. Because you want these notes to ring out in the intro. But I'm going to use my second finger. We come up here to the fifth fret of the D string. We're going to play D, or play the uh, D string, G string, and B string. Let those ring out. Move it back a half step. Do the same thing. I'm sorry. On the first one, when you're on the fifth fret, you just do the D string and the G string. You do not hit the B string. So it's... Then you move back a half step to the fourth fret. Hit D, G, and B string. Same thing on the second fret. So we have... Then you do open D, open G. So we have, sorry. And then two on the A string and open D. So we have. So that's kind of the first part of it. Okay, then we make like we're going to play a G major chord, but you don't need your third finger down here. And you pick E string, A string, D string. Then you go slide back just your second finger on the second fret of the low E string, pick the same strings. So we got... Then you go back to this one. Then you go up to the fifth fret, just the fifth fret. Like that. And then you go third fret and then D string. And then second fret and A string. It sounds like a muddy mess when you don't play it up to tempo, um, but then it sounds good. It's 
that's the whole intro. Um, so you just gotta take your time with it. <laughs> That's when we get into the where it kind of kicks in cool groove um it's based off of a basically a kind of like a blues shuffle we're using that kind of thing so you're going to want to play like an e5 power chord but i would go ahead and bar the a and d string so you're getting this sound because there is kind of a specific picking pattern here. Um, so we're going to go two and then four. You're always hitting the low E string and then five. So it's, I'm doing all down strokes. And it's staccato, it's not, you don't want to do, you want it. And I'm just cutting that off with my palm here. Kind of half, sort of palm muting. Um, I got my palm in front of the bridge so I can chop those off. And then go back to four. So we got. Now here's where the the uh, the twos come in here on the A string and the D string. You're gonna hit those by themselves without the low E string. Then pick the low E string, then go back to the twos. So it's. Like that. That's kind of how it is if you separated it. And I'm actually doing it on the, hitting these on an upstroke. So it's up, down, up. Like that. So it just does that back and forth. So, so it's all of it's pretty much palm muted other than hitting this. Those need to be more, you know, um, accented or aggressive. Okay, so um, that's the main riff, and that, that is throughout a lot of the tune. So you do that twice, as far as arrangement goes. You do that twice at the beginning, after we do our intro. You do this twice. That's where the the uh, verse kicks in okay so you're gonna do that um, the verse is two bars of the E riff I'm gonna call that the E riff so we got and then you go G A. so that's a G major bar chord root on the E string you should be familiar with this um, you're gonna bar the third fret Third finger there, pinky there, second finger right there on the G string. You're gonna do low note, high note, move it up a whole step to A, low note, high notes. Down, up, so down, up, 
down, up. So we got. Like that. Okay, so it's two bars of the E, then the G to A, then three bars of the E, and then the G to the A, and then two bars of E. You can, it's kind of confusing actually, because the bars aren't always even in this song like you'd think they would be. Um, so make sure you're following the tab and looking at that verse. So I'm gonna play through the whole verse so you can kind of see how it goes. one time through that verse and then it would repeat. Check my tuning again. Um, so it's kind of confusing with that um, part. So um, you do that twice and then it's going to go to the chorus. So the chorus is going to jump to an A. So we're playing an A5. That kind of thing. Okay, so let's take a look at that exactly. So we, we go for two bars on A. And that's the pattern. So two, four, two, four, two, two, four, two, four. The twos are when you're on the second fret and when you're on the fourth fret. And I'm hitting the A string and the D string together. Same way we kind of did the, the E, but it's, now it's on the A and we don't need our pinky. So the strum pattern is down, 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 up. Uh, let's see. Down, 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 up. When I do the, it's the, uh, let's see, the third zero and two in that bar, if you're looking at the uh, tab, that's an upstroke. Well, you could do all downstrokes. Just, I don't know, for me, for some reason, it's more comfortable to do it that way. But to make it easy, you could do it all downstrokes. Then we go to a B. Same thing, but now we don't have an open string. Uh, so this type of shuffle thing, we got to do, it's quite, a, it's a stretch. So you got your B power chord, second fret A string, fourth fret D string. And then your pinky has to reach up here to the sixth fret of the D string. Like that, and it's three bars. It's, it's a, there's an odd bar in there. And then you go back to A for two bars. Then, and then we go to G for two bars, same as the B but it's up here on the G on, with the root on the E string. So it's like this. For one bar, sorry. And then you do your... Uh, the, the, the one bar of the riff. So let me play it. Just stays on that E for a bar, and then you go back to the A. And G. And then we go to a breakdown. So it repeats that tag. Um, it's almost easier if you're looking at the tab to, to, to make sense of it. But one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three, four. A, two. G, E, and then back 
to A. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G. Two, three, four. That's where that thing comes in. And that's the little breakdown. This is the other kind of harder part of the tune just because of the picking. So it's all just based around an E chord. Um, but th there's a specific thing he's doing here. Um, so we're going to use a hybrid method picking where you're going to pick and use your fingers. So it starts with a, I'm going to, basically I'm going to finger an E major chord. I'm going to just pick the D and G strings, but I'm going to leave my first finger off and hammer it down. So like that, then I'm going to hit the low E string and then go back to the D and G strings. And then the last two hits in that bar are all of them together. E string with the pick, D and G with your fingers. So we got. And then we have a little riff. And that's kind of like the beginning, sort of. It's a open A, hammer on, open D, E string. You do that twice. Like that. And then you're back to that. So tricky to put it all together. It takes some time. See, I just messed it up there myself. Uh, I'm trying to play it slow. So um, now you're back to another verse. Now the verse um, is pretty much the same, it, it, but it goes through two verses. Um, and the third verse is like a little shorter. Um, when you listen to the song and you, and you look at the tab, it will make sense, but it's nothing new as far as what to play. And same with that chorus. It's just the arrangement is a little different, but nothing new to play. It's all, you know, <laughs> It's just that they might come in different places. Like it's like they don't play the verse as long at, at times and stuff. So it's tabbed out exactly how the record is arranged. Um, you just have to look at it and, and listen to it. And then the only other thing is the outro, and it's really just the verse. <laughs> play the outro uh, just like you do the intro at, you know after the weird intro the regular intro it's just that riff and that's that's the tune so um, you got the intro the, the intro that part that's pretty tricky and that breakdowns tricky If you can get that down, it's a cool little practice for your hybrid picking, which comes in handy um, a lot of times. And then that's pretty much it. So that's Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress by the Hollies.